you coming up? Yeah, yeah. Give me a minute. I, I'll be up there in one second. I got to talk to my peoples real quick. Still doing that? Yep. Yeah, I'll be up there in a minute. Just give me, give me a minute. Yo, what's going on? How y'all feel? Listen, hang in there with me. I got to get settled in. I'm going to play a couple videos so y'all can get settled in. You know what I mean? I'll be right back. I got to hop into that chaos. It's my ladder two review. So I'm going to see y'all on the flip side. Emotional like them rappers you listening to Imaginary player, what you live in is fictional A superhero, but I also play the villain too My name G's, but I'm trying to see what the millions do I be the boss that you gotta get permission through It be the God flow, and I ain't even a religious dude If the money talk, tell me what the recognition do Either way, I got it locked, like the state prison do You know the streets watching anytime you make a move And I ain't one of them who grinding for a plate of food Or the latest shoes, I need the whole market Jewelry stay shining even when I'm at my darkest Razor blade under the tongue, I spit the sharpest Walk in the room, they lay your money green carpet It be the Dun Dada De Niro, cold below zero Frog splash on the money like I'm Eddie Guerrero My P.O. knew I wasn't living a straight and narrow I be the voice of them young that's in the ghetto And I can't help the poor if I'm one of them So I'm at this rap and making packs flip until we all in You need help with your 16s, you can call him Ain't nothing free, better believe that I'm charging for lame That's double display, plenty of hunger The brand gon' do numbers like Dang Diddy and Russell Told me this year to stop playing at humble These n****s ain't ballin' like they was playin' in the bubble If this was 9-9, they would play this in the tunnel You know I get the cookie, but the cake never crumble I spit it for whoever that relate to the struggle Pat my home style, change the play in the huddle They hand it off to you when you wait in the fumble In the belly of the beast, I just play in the jungle yeah. I'm gonna stop it with this one It's not easy. Hey, once again, I am back. It's the Uncle, and welcome to another episode of Two Bars, the Uncle Briss Island Review Show. Listen, y'all know I had to hop into that, that, this, this Conway and Ransom album. You know what I mean? This, 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 uh, this uh, Chaos is My Ladder too. I'm going to review that joint, break it down track by track a little later on. But you know, I always got a dope show planned for y'all. Always got some dope videos planned for y'all. So I need y'all to stay tuned. Hang in there with me and subscribe. Okay, subscribe because I need more. We need more. Two bars needs your support. You feel what I'm saying? So it, 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 it was a lot. I, I took a couple of days off. I had to go get some R&R, &R, you know, relax, spend some time with the family. You know, it helps keep your mind together. You know what I'm saying? And, and in the interim of that, a little bit of sad news. You know, the, the, the Philly zone, Frankie Beverly. I, I mean, we, we, we're all sad with the passing. Um, anybody who, who loves a good, jazzy, kind of soulful r and I mean, this guy was just so talented. He did everything. And, and I, I, I just remember, I'm going to give a quick, I actually grew up on his father's block so well his father was still living there but you know he lived there as as a young man and when he started uh becoming famous he moved or whatever but i grew up on norwood street you feel what i'm saying so th it was just it, it was sad but i tell you i got some really great memories you know trick-or-treating and stuff like that back in the day when i used to do that knocking on his dad's door for for for, for candy and you know, if it was time to shovel some snow, you know, and then sometimes he would come through the neighborhood and they would be like, you know, everybody be like, oh, you know, they go Frankie Beverly. So that's just my little memories, you know, uh, 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 on Norwood Street uh, with the late, great Frankie Beverly. So, you know, I just wanted to say that before I hop into this show, he definitely will be missed in the music community. So with that being said, let's get back. The pickup segment. All right, listen, man. Y'all know I always got to inculcate Philly in, in my show in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay? And let me tell you something. This boy just bars. All right? I've been following him for, for, for a long time. 
I actually seen him um, perform a, a few years ago, uh, and, and he did a great performance. But he has a really positive album called For Sage. Um, you know, it, he evidently, you know, he has a family now. Um, he's doing something for his, for his child, and I really, really appreciate the messages and, and the positivity within this album. I love this track called Take My Time. It just shows the growth as I've been following this young man, and he's putting out, he got a couple of dope albums the last couple of years, but this one here, we can see where his heart was at, we can see where his mind state was at, and he's definitely headed in the right direction, and he's trying to set up a great future for his child, and I, I really think that that's dope. Langston Bue, Blue, excuse me, uh, nice little R&B album I'm getting some groove out of, Love is a Luxury. That Fool's Gold track, I'm really, really enjoying that. And how can we leave out the veteran? I mean, come on, man. I was going to review this album, but I chose not to, especially since the, the, the run he's getting now with, with Eminem. And I'm talking about LL Cool J. This is the fourth album. I mean, I'll be doing y'all a disservice. Again, I always got to squeeze Philly in there some kind of way. My boy Mad Squabbles is on that song, The Vow, featuring Jay Sand and Don Pablito. LL, they killed this John Mad Squabbles. He just been barring out. He was on Team Backpack. I mean, his bars is just crazy. And I'm anticipating his album, too, because I know that John is coming, too. And another veteran, and let's, let's, let's just give some respect to the, to the ladies in hip-hop, man. And don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to separate the genders and all that. You rap, you rap. You know what I mean? That's how I look at it. But MC Light, this one-of-one one album, such a positive uh, uh, a body of work. It's been some years since she's put out a full body of work. And she is just really just letting y'all know, first off, that she still got it. And she is just representing for, 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 for black women in hip hop. And I just love her positivity. And this, this body of work shows that she still can put out some good music. Okay. Back home in Philly, oh, that's Rada and, 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 and Young Chris, this Case Closed little EP. I'm getting some enjoyment out of that. I can't even front. And another boy who don't get no respect in the hip-hop community, in my opinion, and, I'm, and I mean to the fans, I ain't talking about to the producers, because if you're old Drew, this movie album, he got Just Blaze on, on, on the production, he got Mad Lib, he got Obliv, he got Harry Fraud. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. That Mercury Thermometer track is just bananas. I mean, that, that, that movie album, I'm definitely getting some enjoyment out of that. Another old head, I, I, I'm telling you, man, we, we, we just can't, we can't stop. We, we know it, it's just in us. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to put us in, in, in the grave. You know, Master Ace, this, 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 this Richmond Hill album, I'm definitely getting some enjoyment out of that. My man still got bars, still got metaphors. I really, really enjoy him. Been enjoying him ever since, you know, back in the day, the symphony days. I mean, you know what I mean? Um, and, and, and another ball that just is so consistent. I mean, if you like bars and, and uh, if you enjoy uh, Wu-Tang Clan, if you enjoy, uh, uh, you know, Conway and Benny and, and, and West Side Gun and people like that, uh, I'm going to tell you, man. My man Ralphie Reese, man, first off, his production is, is just bananas. On every album that he brings out, he's so consistent. He's back with another installment to his Blade uh, uh, um, uh, He has a series, excuse me, but Blade Sylvania 3, book 3. I'm definitely getting some enjoyment out of that. And a follow-up, uh, the Chi-Town representative, he gave us side A the first time. Him and Tone beats his back, water. With this, this uh, order of the day, family business, side B, man, I'm telling you, man, he teaching. He he is, he teaching, man. Y'all y'all got to get on. You know what I'm saying? This boy, dope. That's all I can say, man. Don Pablito, of course, once I seen him on LL's album, I definitely wanted to, 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 to check his stuff out. And let me tell you, man, this album, this thing of ours... It is so good, man. I, I, I definitely enjoy this, John. The John Gotti track, the uh, the Queens Get the Money track. I mean, this boy, I, I was asleep. He got a couple of albums out, and I, I was just knocked out. I don't know where I was at. Somebody woke me up, and it was LL. Thank you. Um, 
uh, Alameda is brand new signee to TDE. She got this uh, FK. It. Uh, I definitely just started kind of digging into that. And I went to see this young lady perform, man. And let me tell you something. First off, I already was listening to her music, but she performed with Lucky Day. Faina Hughes, man. This 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 small album. I really, really love her tones. She is she's just a great a breath of fresh air for, for R and B. You know what I mean? And and that sweet life track, I really, really love that. I'm coming back home again, y'all. You know what I mean? We got Aries, man. I mean, it, it, I never knew the girl next door would have been you. Y'all know I can't sing, but guess what? Whatever. We already know what the deal is. This this Yinka Yana album, I'm telling you, man, I, again, I, I was woke up. I, I seen them on the social media platforms, and, and I went and hunted this joint down. Um, the, uh, the track Better Days, man, the message in this song from the outset is just so beautiful, man, and, and that really nice smooth track called mint let me tell you something i i i love that i i just i just gotta say that you know what i mean and another person from philly this is my man i'm so sorry to say regardless my man mike Val, man this boy is so talented he has this 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 uh track called the truck song all right first off you want to talk about a hustler this right here, the track just embodies just hustling on a whole nother level. We Everybody always talking about selling this kind of drugs and, you know, you doing this, you got all these chicks or whatever the case may be. It takes some thought to, to, to just do something a little bit different and still make it relatable to the street, to the working class. And that's what this truck song does. And I just love this song, man, because it just shows that we don't always have to talk about the same stuff, man. Open up your mind, man. Put some put some quality music out there. You feel what I'm saying? And he got a dope video for it. So I guess that means that I got to hop into that video and play something else before I do this review. I'll be back. Road, I'm dedicated to go with something dedicated. My box truck, middleweight, my 53 heavy weighted. You know my truck, so when I pull up, I'm never waiting. Killing the game, broken screaming, it's premeditated. Shout out to the sprinter vans, hot shots, flatbeds. Get the low, strap the low, hit the road, get that bread. Gotta feed the pups, bunch of needs and wants, and make sure you check your clock, cause if not, you know what's up. DOT be lurking, lot lizards be working. Couple spots got service, every low got a purpose. We could tag team, but if you're not driving, you're worthless. You're not a service, I'm pulling off close curtains. Trucking and hustling, truck, trucking and trucking and trucking. And hustling, truck, 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 and hustling, truck, truck, and truck, and truck, and hustling, truck, 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 and hustling, truck, truck, and truck, and truck, and hustling, truck, 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 and hustling, truck, truck, and truck, and truck, and hustling, truck, truck, truck. I'm on the ball like Monopoly to get the load properly. Customers steady watching me, ETA clocking me. Shockingly, I know the shipper pull up and they docking me. Shout out to the dispatch, negotiating big stacks. Attention pay broken up, tow news total up. Now all C's loaded up, the truck keys hold them up. Car hauls, dump trucks, trash truck, tow trucks, swing doors, roll ups with GPS that fold up. To the queens like Latifah, that's a trucker and a diva. You on it like a beeper, and you cooler than a reefer. You a boss, not a tweaker, something new. On a sneaker, few thou when you sleeper, might die when you speaker. Hold on, trucking and hustling, truck, trucking and trucking and trucking and hustling, truck, 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 trucking and hustling, truck, trucking and trucking and trucking and hustling, truck, 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 just send it through the wire like Omar. Now. I stay with straps for the free. A couple low balls. Secure a contract and you ain't gotta go hard. But the spot market to have you pulling up like, like your old dog. Cause the going rates iffy. Yeah. And the diesel price is tricky. Yeah. On the west like pop. And on the east like biggie. Midwest 50-50. Uh -huh. Down south kind of picky. Uh -huh. But whatever pitch is going out the park. Jim Griffey. To the warehouse team that's loading and unloading. I, I appreciate your time. You stronger than Hulk Hogan. Daytime night shift. Hand-in-hand -hand forklifts. Supervisor. 
box is corporate. This trucking game with you. Tr trucking and hustling, truck, trucking and trucking and trucking and hustling, truck, 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 and hustling, truck, trucking and trucking and trucking and hustling, truck, truck, truck. Trucking and hustling, truck, trucking and trucking and trucking and hustling, truck, truck. I'm just, I'm just trucking and hustling, truck, trucking and trucking and trucking and hustling, truck, truck. Yeah. One hundred eighty third Street. Crazy. Crowned. Look. Couple couple time, no counting money, it's gonna take a toll Break a mold, run into that bag, tell my ankle swole Roman noodle diet, about to break a load Break a fold, get my to 20, tell her chase a gold Couple time, no counting money, it's gonna take a toll Break a mold, run into that bag, tell my ankle swole Roman noodle diet, about to break a load Break a fold, get my to 20, tell her chase a gold Facts driven, only fronted when I was packed Giving pocket sky breaded from flour That's how I stack chicken, goon stuff Moonwalk bloopers, say he back trippin' Pine along, long nose like Jordan Soon as he smack Pippin' fly to pick it out No, I'm spinning what you mellin' me Still bad grams like tender for the elderly Good with the O's like a killer in the spelling bee Luca Brazzi run, I need a million off the salary Plenty ganja, you went broke buying Benny Hondas Rushing to lock it down like Brittany Grinder Fell in love with an eater Why you kiss a dime crying in the crib like an infant when he misses his mama Time slimy, you knowin' these dimes grimy You D or the she fuck for 990s Ain't got no pics of bustin' for Rob Zombie Long as it's bread long, it's nothing she try and climb me 40 crackers egg like steel kitchen Different world when Pac was piccolo I'm on a real mission Was it with the OZ or Dorothy? Got the hills clickin' me in third Ain't from the burbs, that's why I feel different C Couple, couple times, no countin' money It's gon' take a toll, break a mold Run into that bag, tell my ankle swole Roman noodle diet, bout to break a load Break a fold, get my to 20 Tell her chase a gold Couple time, no counting money It's gon' take a toll Break a mold Run into that bag Tell my ankle swole Roman noodle diet About to break a load Break a fold Get my to 20 Tell her chase a gold Hey! Once again, I am back It's the uncle And welcome to the second segment of Two Bars The Uncle Brisson Review Show Listen! Hopefully y'all still hanging in there with me, you know, because I know y'all be skipping past, you know what I mean? Y'all probably just came right here and missed all the first segment and the dope videos that I showed. But guess what? I'm glad you're here regardless, you know what I mean? Because I'm here to talk about Ransom, Conway the Machine, and V-Don. Chaos is my ladder too. Now, we already know, and if you're a fan of Ransom... Him and V-Don came out a couple years back with Chaos is my ladder, uh, 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 the first installment in, in, in this. And if this, if, if, if this is any consolation or, or any kind of series, we definitely want to make sure that we stay tuned, especially if we're going to get more with, with different MCs or whatever the case may be. But right now, we're going to focus on. On, on him and, and, and Conway. Now we already know earlier this year, my man, my man Ransom gave us this this uh, this lavish misery with him and Harry Fraud on production, and I tell you, I enjoyed that very much. So going into this, the same year, I always say, is it too much? You know what I mean? As they trying to put out a, a too much music. So guess what? I'm a hop right in. All right, we, we begin with a new day. All right, we got this this dope electric guitar. A lot of producers is using these electric guitar samples, man. And I'm going to tell you, so it, it, it starts off pretty good. You know what I mean? We already know Conway going to give us some of these hard bars. All right, <laughs> the, 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 drum, the drum work bars. You know what I'm saying? We already know. His confidence is displayed. You know, a, a few setbacks that, that, that won't de deter his advancement. We already know. My man is definitely like, y'all can't stop me. And, 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 and we going into Ransom. Now, Ransom, I, I tell you, man, I like Ransom simply because Ransom has a way of, 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 of giving you bars. He can teach you something. He could bar out with you. He could do almost anything, you know what I mean, on an intelligent old head side of, of hip hop. So from, from, from the outset... Ransom is talking his greatness, how the chaos won't stop his progress, 
the chorus talks to a few things in our community that cause chaos and hiccups in our lives. Um, and, and, you know, if you lacking and don't understand what's going on, hopefully God will protect you. You know what I'm saying? So from the outset, I'm like, okay, started off pretty decent. Then we got Limitless. All right. Now the production definitely grabs me. Right? I, I, I can't even front. Conway again, it, it always consistent with the street bars. All right. You know, him stating that he's in the top spot. The separation of the weak and the strong. Um, he got this this line about uh, uh, big puns compared to little Nas X's. I mean, you know, I, I just think that that is just dope because it has it's trying to get so far away from the the original hip hop. But uh, let's get back to the song. Ransom, you know, he he got some positive bars on here. Talks of uh, Satan's influence, just trying to stop him no matter what. His potential is limitless. I really, really love that. He got a crazy quotable. It's a lot of quotables on here, but the uh, the envy the foreclosure line is dope. And, and he just, you know, he just he always got some some kind of quotables that's just crazy. We got Photobomb. All right. Um, I, it took a few listens for, for this to actually get me. You know what I mean? But I tell you, this song grew on me. Um, and, 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 and Ransom, you know, he, he, he just like, listen, man, I don't like doing all this stuff for the camera. I would rather be hidden. I gain success. E even though I'm, I'm, I'm chilling in the background. He has a core following, which, you know, I'm probably one of those, you know what I mean? So I really, really appreciate what he's trying to display as far as everybody just wanting to be on the outside, you know, and, and we got Conway again, you know, brag rap again. I can't say he really talks to the to the photo bomb aspect of, of this particular tr uh, track, the concept of it. But his bars are still dope. You know what I mean? And that was kind of my fear going into this. I just didn't know. I know a lot of times like rappers send music to people. And, you know, I've been in the studio, you know, and sometimes the vibe is better when MCs is together. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they wasn't together. I don't know the studio sessions, but that was just, I just wanted to make sure that the the, the album was going to, you know, be uh, cohesive, if that's the word. You know what I'm saying? Just be all together, simply because sometimes nowadays, because of technology, you can send tracks, so you don't really get the vibe and, you know, yeah, all right, I, I rambled on enough about that. So we got Shellfish, all right? Now, I, I really did this track. The track is just making sure you take care of yourself. You know what I mean? We all we all got to do that. Um, you know, a lot of people think we being selfish just because we we trying to make sure that we doing what's good for us. And and and, and you can't look at it like that. You know what I mean? Conway begins with how hard he's worked, and and some say again that he he's being selfish. But guess what? No, I'm gonna do what I need to do for me. You know what I mean? Ransom speaks the same. Also, you know, he, he uh, covers people that's supposed to be down with you. They turn their back on you. They faking, you know, family acting like they thorough. They still fake sometimes. And the chorus, you know, just talks of things that you have that others don't, don't. But, you know, you worked hard. Your, your work ethic is, is, is better than theirs and you deserve it. You know what I mean? So I really, really dig that. Then we get into a highlight on this album and, and, and this midlife crisis song i'm gonna tell you man i love this song i love the message you know you me you, you, you know it, it, it's just it looks back on past relationships and opportunities that we may have had and screwed up on um, um the industry opportunities is definitely put on display here um hip-hop you know has tried to come together it we, we we haven't for various reasons um you know talks of old heads just not being in a position to help the younger generation and, and trying to gain success, spreading false truths, you know, on these social media platforms. I tell you, man, just ransom on this song, man. I love this, this, this track, man. Again, my man always can, he could display bars. He could borrow with you or he could teach you something with which this track definitely does. Then we got commandments, the beat. Bang. Okay. Um, um, Ransom's quotables on here is crazy that uh, why would you judge a person like me when you ain't never been to trial? I mean, come on, man. That, that's just crazy. That creed line, uh, what do you say? Uh, help me take a test that I passed alone. Like, come on, man. The Sylvester Stallone, whatever. Okay. I, 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 real hip hop heads get it. You know what I mean? 
just dope. We got born again. Now, this is something that I'd like to hear Conway do a, a, a little bit more. You know, the questions of why we struggle, the stresses that come with life. Um, you know, Conway, again, always got some 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 really aggressive bars, which I enjoy. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes just to switch it up, I, I really, really in, in, enjoy Conway on this. Ransom talks of his brother's death, how it still hurts. You know, the pain that his mom felt. Anybody who's lost a loved one, including myself, probably most of y'all out here, um, definitely can feel that. How, you know, his brother lives on through him, which I really, really think is dope. And then we got the first song that I heard on this album. He brought back Lloyd Banks. Okay, from he, Lloyd Banks is on the chaos. is my lad at the first installment. And um, let me tell you something. All I'm going to say is stop being scared of real hip hop. And stop gatekeeping. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. The bars is crazy. These dudes on here, it's just so many quotables. It's too many to go through. I just really, really love that track. Then we on the back end of the album, we got the nefarious track. Now I'm gonna tell you, um, uh, this has kind of been done before. My man Lupe Fiasco um, um, did this on, on "Let Me Put You on Game," but this is a, a, a story where Ransom, you know. Uh, is having a discussion with Satan and, um, and, you know, just trying to get down to the, to the bottom of some serious questions about life, um, his reasons in it, mankind's reasons in it. Um, you know, Ransom knows the, the, the world needs to hear how Satan influence uh, our actions and how it affects our lives. So I definitely get the message. I, I definitely get the message, but I will say, the track would have sound better if um, if he would have maybe added, I guess, a little bit more devious tone to the to the like he switches the voice. But I think if he would have made it a little bit more menacing of the way people say Satan sounds, um, you know, I think the track would a little bit would have been a little bit better, in my opinion. Not a bad track. I get the message, but I definitely think, you know, that the track could have been better. All right. Um, it was an interlude in there. It's 10 tracks. Uh, I'm going to rate this. I'm going to get off of y'all nerds. I definitely enjoy it. Um, will I be going back to it? You know, maybe a couple of tracks. You know, I'll kind of pick and choose. So on an Uncle Brish rating scale, my first cousin. And that's a three and a half out of five stars. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Peace.